got a ton of amazing Predator content for you today, including a killer fan giveaway you won't want to miss. Plus, we've got a new behind the scenes look at this year's The Predator. I'm Hunter Dave. And I'm Hunter Tory. All this and more on The Rundown. Giveaway alert! Dark Horse Comics has supplied us with 10 copies of their awesome trade paperback, Predator Hunters. Written by Chris Warner with truly amazing art by Francisco Ruiz Valesco. We had a ton of fun with our last fan challenge. Get the chopper. Chopper. And now we've got a new one for all you hungry young bloods. We want to see in here your best Predator pose. Predator pose? Roll tape. <laughs> Maybe, maybe a little better than that, but capture your best Predator pose and send us the video. Each winner will be generously rewarded with their own copy of Predator Hunters. <laughs> Take a look at these exclusive shots of Shane Black hard at work on the set of The Predator. It's so cool to get a close look at a true master at work. Shane is a legendary filmmaker, and I can't wait to see what he's got in store for us. September 14th can't get here soon enough. We are here with Mr. Randy Falk yes. of NECA. Resident expert of all things alien and predator. What can you tell us a little bit about the history of NECA? Well, the company started in the late 90s and I've just been running with it ever since. At this point, we're about to hit 100 different predator figures. What kind of new stuff do you have coming out? There's so much new great content with, of course, the new film coming, yeah. with what goes on in the video games, with the Dark Horse comics. There's always fresh territory to mine. We have the badass, the big guy, the assassin. That's the unpainted final sculpt and we're waiting on some more reference and some footage to be released so we can paint them up. Last spring, I got to go to Vancouver and visit the set while we were filming, which was great. That's where I first got to talk to Shane. And at the time, the assassin was still sort of in the infancy state. There was concept art and early 3D models because it's a completely CG yeah. version of the Predator. So. We had to wait a while as that evolved and changed, as it often does with the CGI character. So for Christmas, everyone can get the assassin. That's right. So. Biggest, baddest predator yet. This week's fan of the week is Erica Bada, better known as Clariel. It was love at first sight when she first watched Predator. Though it wasn't until moving from Hungary to the UK in 2013 that she started collecting figurines and other Predator-related memorabilia. Erica doesn't just collect, she also creates. She makes Hunter-inspired necklaces, bracelets, earrings, and more. She's a true artist and her work is fantastic. <laughs> When on location in 1987 filming Predator, the filmmakers found themselves with an interesting problem. As we all know that y'all just see in heat vision. And the original plan to capture the Predator's POV was simply to shoot using a heat vision capable camera. But the film was being shot in the jungles of Puerto Vallarta, where it is really, really hot. Much to their chagrin, the footage captured couldn't differentiate between the actors and the backgrounds because everything was so damn hot. Short on time, the film crew tried many things to get the actors to pop on screen, including spraying down the trees and foliage with cold water while the talent warmed up next to bonfires in between takes. This method yielded less than stellar results and the entire plan was eventually scrapped. And the Predator's signature heat vision piece POV was finally achieved in post-production to everyone's satisfaction. When in doubt, fix it in post. That's all the time we have for today. Make sure to reach out to us personally on the forums and let us know what you think of today's episode and all things Predator related. I'm Hunter Tory And I'm Hunter Dave. Catch us next time on The, the Rundown. Rundown.